that this is a short video showing you how to change the rubbers on a tap um, this one here is not going to let up it's leaking between the body and the spout from prolonged use of swiveling the head um, first thing you need to do is remove the the spout um, there is a grub screw retaining grub screw uh, behind the body here at the top I can feel it with my finger um, you'll need a two and a half mil allen key and undo again a little bit fiddly because it's behind I don't need to take it right out another tip when doing this is to put the plug in so you don't drop it down the plug hole and just pull up on the spout just as I did then to remove the spout right the reason it's leaking is these rubbers here where you can't really see it, it's a lot of grease and muck in there um, but it's these two rubbers here that we want to change there's also another plastic I have a plastic one just inside here. It's going to be a little bit tricky to get out, but we want to change all of them. Just using a little flat bladed screwdriver to try and get try and get that out. Can be a little bit tricky. Oh. There you go. And that's that's got a bit of grease on it as well. The kit that we sell comes with the right Allen key and it comes with the three rubbers and a new screw, just in case you do drop that one down the down the plug hole. Um Right, so we've got the small one at the bottom, then the slightly bigger one, and then we know that that plastic one is going back inside there. So same again, just with a, they can be tricky again, small flat bladed screwdriver to try and pop that off. There's the small one, so I'm going to get them mixed up with the new ones. There's the bigger one. You can see that that one starting to perish. Uh, small one back on the bottom. Next one a bit further up. Uh, it's not a bad idea to put some, some more grease on, some silicone grease, um, just on the rubbers, just to um, to make it move freely um, that's that that's the rubbers on the on the spout changed and then you want to try and get this plastic one back inside here goes in a lot easier than getting it out um, and then we just want to put the spout back in in reverse order hopefully that's a lot more tighter now it feels stiffer it feel definitely feels better um, I'm not going to use the new screw because it's it's already in there. It seems to be tightening up fine. If if it's been rounded off or anything, you have got that spare there. Or like I say, if you've lost it, then you've um, then you've got that there. Um, and then you want to tighten it back up. Where is it? Actually, better to use this one because I can spin it. Going the wrong way. You can spin it all the way around. Make sure that's tight. 
Never loving that. There's um, one other thing I forgot to mention when you're doing this. I'll take it back out. When you're doing it, you've got this. You've got this split of the of the rubber here of the plastic. Sorry, and that gap there is for the screw to go in. Okay, so you want to be lining that plastic up where the roughly where the hole of the um, screw is. See if we've done it. Now we've got no leaks coming out of there like we did before. Bit of grey film there. And I can feel that it's just a lot stiffer. And, and it's a nice new rubbers. Thanks for watching.